Welcome to Mastercraft Boats UK. My name's Michael Hardiker and I'm delighted to have behind me the first 2013 X-Star here in the UK and Europe. There's been a lot of hype about the launch of the new X-Star and it certainly doesn't disappoint and we're delighted to have one here in the showroom at Mastercraft Boats UK. This boat's already been recognised worldwide as a game changer to the sport and we're going to show you through just some of the key features and design that make this boat so special. The first thing you'll notice when you come in our showroom is the X-Star occupies the central spot quite rightfully so as well. Now let's talk through some of the basic colours that we've spec the boat in. Um, spec the boat with a black top deck, black down the sides as well and you'll see these nice carbon infills. Now, there's quite a lot of choice when you're actually um, specking the X-Star to your specifics. My main aim with this boat was it should look mean. Looking down the side of the new X-Star, you'll see the design lines. This is a completely restyled boat. You can see the rub rail dips down. Gives the boat a real nice shape towards the back end. I spec the boat with the ZFT4 tower. Um, this is a manually operated tower, but has a quick release option. The main thing about the tower is it's a nice sleek look uh, and matches in perfectly with the design of the boat. One of the other key features you'll see, the external hull of the boat, is the design of the graphics. We decided on this particular boat that we wanted the graphics to really stand out for the brand, so did them in the lime green, which you can see obviously the Mastercraft at the back here is very prominent, and the shape of the graphic here as well. And then as you go up more towards the center of the front of the boat, you see the lime green X-Star graphic as well. One of the other special features is the new style mirror. Uh, this clips onto the top of the windshield just above the driver, gives you a great panoramic view when you're driving the boat. Uh, we'll show you some more on that when we go inside the boat shortly. One of the other key features with our pickle fork front generally is the access onto the bow. The new X-Star's got an access locker here as well, and I decided to spec the boat with a bow access ladder and an anchor which stores away nicely. Okay, so as we start to come around towards the back of the X-Star, the first thing you notice is the depth of this boat. Now this is where you can really start to see the design. This creates the massive wake out the back of the boat. We spec this boat with the salt water package on it, so it's got the option to flush out the heat exchanger. It's got a sealed cooling system on the engine, but this enables us to flush out the cooling system as well. One of the other features is we've now got the new wrap over platform. This is great for if you've got your board on the back, you're not scratching the platform or anything when you're coming on and off the boat, but also as well when you're pulling yourself back up after you've had your set, you can just get straight back onto the boat. One of the other key features of the new X-Star is this rear step. This allows ease of access when accessing onto the boat and also allows a nice solid platform for you to sit down on when you're trying to put your board on to go out on the water. One of the other features as well, part of the saltwater pack, is the freshwater flushing point. This allows you to fill water onto a holding tank on board and then you've got something that you can swill off the boat once you've been out on the water. Another nice feature here as well is we've got a switch pack on the back of the boat, allows you to turn the underwater lighting on and off and also allows you to activate the shower. The first thing you notice when you come down under the platform is the attitude adjustment plate and the launch control system. This is a new feature for the X-Star and gets the boat up onto the plane much quicker and gets the wake settled down to its optimum size as quickly as possible. One other thing you will notice as you start to look up the hull, we've got three centre tracking fins. Just enables the handling and the tracking of the boat as well. The other thing you'll notice, which this boat just wouldn't be the same without, is we've got the underwater lighting at either side. Stepping inside this first X-Star, you'll see the radical styling and the colour combination that we've put together here. It's like nothing else I've seen before, it really looks absolutely striking. This boat has a great wraparound seating setup so you can get lots of people on board, but with the addition of a cool, neat feature here in the centre of the boat, the centre seat pulls over, swivels up and creates some more seating for sitting back watching the action on, on the back of the boat. You'll also notice we've got some cup holders here and nice detailing again there from Mastercraft on the backdrop to the, uh, to the seating position. The seat just pops straight back over as well and again you're now back to a forward facing seat. One of the other features of the seating layout as well is this centre walkthrough seat. It creates a backrest. The second thing you can do as well is just pivots over, drops down and you've got a nice solid walkway into the bow. As we walk through into the bow, you can see we've got a huge seating layout and some cool shaped seats in the front here. Got two drop down armrests and a cool feature, the gullwing seats. 
As we said earlier, I've spec'd the boat with the ZFT4 tower, which is the new style tower. It's got a real nice sleek look to the actual style and design of the tower. It also benefits from the real easy ability to be able to fold the tower down if you want to store the boat in your garage or in a dry stack storage. You can just release the handles at either side and just fold the tower down. The ZFT4 as well has great board rack system. You just release the pin, you can swivel the board racks in, pop your boards into position, lock the handles down and then basically just put them back out. We've also spec the boat with the Bimini. Obviously real important, it gives you that shelter and protection as well and more importantly four tower speakers to create the noise with some great forward facing lights at this side throwing some light forward if you're out late at night or in the sunset. So again you can see we've got some real good storage compartments here it goes right through into the bow of the boat as well right back down with the usual matting in the bottom of the hull just drains the water away as well as that you've obviously got your two storage lockers at either side of the engine as well so it creates some great storage space inside the boat. You can see at the back of the boat here we've got a nice walk through. You can also put an infill cushion into that and creates a nice big sun deck at the back. But more importantly, let's see where it all happens. I've spec the boat with the 6.2 Saltwater Series Ilmore engine. The biggest Saltwater Series engine available in the X-Star. Gives great performance uh, and as you can see from the engine compartment some great space around the engine itself. These side panels drop away gives great access from an engineer's point of view from working on the boat. So the helm position in the X-Star has got the seat that, with the bolster part that just lifts up, just gives you that slightly higher seating position. First thing you notice when you get in behind the seat is this completely flat dash panel. Switch on the ignition, just powering up the dash here. Now you'll see two display screens at either side of the steering wheel here, just showing us all sorts of different information about the boat. And then you'll see center display screen just appears automatically. It's a cool new feature. One of the cool new features of the new X-Star is the three digital display screens. Everything's available to you here uh, with touch screen units at either side. If you want to select ballast settings you're just straight into ballast. You can just press the screen then fill your ballast tanks to the required level. Likewise if you want to go into your stereo settings you just click straight onto stereo you can access your iPod straight away from here by just touching and selecting on the screen. I thought to spec the boat, I spec'd it with the colour coded trailer uh, just to uh, complement the package. We've got the 18 inch Black Warrior wheels, custom paint job on the trailer with the runway lighting going right down the side of the boat as well. You can see a nice new touch for the trailers, which is the backlit Mastercraft emblem here. Looks awesome at night when you're traveling along with the boat on back. And then you've got these neat looking lights around the back here uh, with the aluminum tread plate right across the top. So it's a real good looking trailer to complement the boat. So, I hope I've been able to give you a bit more information about what the new X-Star is all about. It is a radical boat without doubt and the spec that we've got for the first one here in the UK I think you'd have to agree is absolutely awesome. I look forward to having the opportunity to show you around the boat in more detail at some stage and welcome you to our showroom here at Mastercraft Boats UK. Thanks for watching.